Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer today for August 9th, 2022. Glad that you are with me today. Today is uh, National Book Lovers Day, Adivasi Divas, Annual Perseid Meteor Shower Peak Night, Co-working Day, Hold Hands Day, and International Day of the World's Indigenous People. Let's go ahead and get started. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. We pray to you, O Lord, you hear us in the morning. At sunrise, we offer our prayer and wait for your answer. Our reading for today is Genesis chapter 6, verse 9 through 22. Listen for God's word to speak to you. These are the descendants of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his generation. Noah walked with God, and Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. And God saw that the earth was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted its ways upon the earth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end to all flesh, for the earth is filled with the violence because of them. Now I am going to destroy them along with the earth. Make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with pitch. This is how you are to make it the length of the ark 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. Make a roof for the ark and finish it to a cubit above and put the uh, the door of the ark on its side. Make it with lower, second, and third decks. For my part, I am going to bring a flood of waters in the earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die, but I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you, And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every kind into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Of the birds according to their kinds and of the animals according to their kinds, of every creeping thing of the ground according to its kind, two of every kind shall come in to you to keep them alive. Also take with you every kind of food that is eaten and store it up, and it shall serve as food for you and for them. Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, this is a reading that is sort of familiar to us, but the details may not be as much. So, um, we have met Noah already. We have been told that he is blameless. We are told again he's, he's blameless. Um, he's a righteous man. He is in right relationship with God, and he is the only one of his generation. Um, doesn't seem like that's it's that hard <laughs> to be the most righteous of this particular generation. Um, he has three sons: Shem, Ham, and Japheth. They will be very important uh, coming going forward. So the earth is corrupt in God's sight, and we talked yesterday about sort of the ways that we can take that more literally, we can take it more uh, figuratively, that God is going to send this flood. Um, It tells us that God takes sin very seriously. It tells us um, that there, you know, there was at least a flood of some sort. Again, every um, major culture has a story about this, and so, you know, how how does this all work? Um, And we have very specific instructions on how to build this thing. Um, It is large. It is a, um, it's a very large thing. I will, I'll link in a video if you care to watch it. Um, I made the arc according to this in Minecraft, which is a a video game where you can build things. Um, So Louise and I did this and and it took quite a while. And it's, it's a fairly impressive structure. Now, is it big enough to, to hold every single kind of animal? Uh, maybe not. That doesn't quite necessarily fit. But it's a big thing. It's a very large thing. Um, it is, it, and there's, you know, very specific instructions on this is how tall it is. This is how long it is. There's three decks. There's this opening in the top. There's all of these sorts of things. Um, 
the important thing is that God says to um, to Noah that in all of this, I am going to make a covenant with you and with your um, with your family. I'm going to protect you and your wife and your sons and their wives. I'm going to preserve two of every kind of animal because destruction is going to happen. There's, there's a, a, um, there's definitely in the narrative, there is a necessity for this destruction. Um, there, there needs to be a clean slate, but it's not a completely clean slate. Noah is, is going to be preserved. And we will see this sort of, um, motif throughout all of scripture, really that God chooses sort of one group to show mercy to so that that mercy might be extended. Now, this is not as clear here because most of the other people are not going to make it through this, but um, it's uh, this choosing and the selecting of this one particular family uh, is is an important motif that we will see. Um, So there we go. That's the beginning of sort of the Noah's Ark uh, story. We will see in the next reading, I believe, that uh, this, it's not as straightforward. It's very similar to Genesis 1 and 2, where there are multiple sort of accounts, but in Noah's Ark, they have been squished together, and so we'll talk about that as well. But those are our readings for today. Let's go ahead and join together in prayer. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. Eternal God, we rejoice this morning in the gift of life, which we have received by your grace and the new life you give in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for ministries of compassion, witness, and service. Those who make and grow the things we need. the communities in which we live. Strength and ability is to serve you today. Indications of your love at work in the world. People of God, for what else do we give thanks? We give thanks for this day, for the grace that you give, and the provision. God of grace, we offer our prayers for the needs of others and commit ourselves to serve them even as you have served us in Jesus Christ. Especially, we pray for the church in Africa. The conservation of the soil, water, and air. Those closest to us in this community. Friends and relatives who are far away. all who care for others in body, mind, and spirit. People of God, for what else do we pray? We pray for Van, part of the family of the Garlands, who has been diagnosed with cancer and is undergoing radiation treatment. We pray for Tony, who has also started radiation treatments this week. We pray for Tom, Sharon's brother, who's in the hospital. For Nick, who's moving to assisted living. For Amy, recovering from back surgery. For Don, who is home from the hospital and recovering. God of our salvation, 
as the light of morning dawns, heaven and earth sing your praise. Cause us to live and grow in faith so that we may bear good fruit for the glory of your holy realm. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now let us continue to praise in the words that Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now, may we continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Thank you so much for joining me today for Daily Prayer. Join me tomorrow for some more. Like this video, share it with someone else. Click on the subscription and the notification button, as well as going to our website, johncalvinchurch.org, for more information. Go to our Facebook and Instagram account as well. Our liturgy today came from the Book of Common Worship of the Presbyterian Church, USA, 2018 edition, and our readings came from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time.